hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Let's check out the snowy winter wonderland. Hello, first graders. Well, we've learned a lot about birds, haven't we? We've learned about birds and their field marks. We've learned about birds and why they can fly. And last time we learned about birds. They have different sizes and shapes. I wonder if you could do a bird quiz of all shapes. Well, today we're going to learn about local birds, birds that live right around here. Are they always around here or are they just here in the winter? Do you know there are some birds that just pass through as they migrate? We're going to take a look at a field guide and learn about the birds that live around here. Are they here all year long? Whoa, there's a black cap. What about this black cap chickadee? Hey, black cap chickadee, do you live here all year long? Let's find out about birds that are year round, summer residents, winter residents, and migrants. It's all here in our bird book of science. Hey friends, as I look again in my Birds of Michigan field guide, some of these birds live in our part of Michigan and some do not. If you look at this map of Michigan, I don't know if you know the shape of our state, but our lower peninsula shaped kind of like a mitten. You notice it's all red. All red means that the black capped chickadee lives all over Michigan and it's found year round. The color red means that the black capped chickadee can be found in spring, summer, winter, and fall all year round. Hey, I wonder about some of the other birds that we see around the feeder. Are they all year round birds? Let's take a look. Whoa, here's a bird that we see around the feeder, often on the ground called a dark eyed junco. Look at that white belly and that plump brown or brownish gray back and head. And look at that whitish beak. That's the dark eyed junco. And look, they're only in this part of Michigan in the winter. This is a winter resident. We don't see dark eyed juncos in the summer around here. We only see them in the winter. It's a local bird because we find it around here, but we only find it here in the winter. Let's look at more birds and figure out where we find birds and when we find them. Birds are so amazing. Look at that cute little junco. Wow, now that's a cool bird. This bird comes back to see a frost in the spring and it's here all summer long nesting. This is the red winged blackbird. Look at it. We will see it at our bird feeders probably in the month of March, April, and May. Look, it's a summer bird for Michigan, for our part of Michigan, the red winged blackbird. Wow, I can't wait to see them. I know you know this bird. This is the blue jay. Remember the blue jay? The blue jay is a bird that's around our school, CA Frost, year round. Look at it. It is in the whole state of Michigan, year round. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. The blue jay. What, a bird with zebra stripes on its head? That's right. This cool bird is called a white crowned sparrow. A white crowned sparrow is a bird that we only see during spring or fall migration when the birds are flying north or south. Look at that cool bird. They usually feed on seeds on the ground. It's a white crowned sparrow. We'll probably see them around the feeder in the month of April. Wow, cool. Hey friends, here's a bird you know about the tiny ruby-throated hummingbird. They don't come to our bird feeder and eat seeds. They sip nectar from flowers and they come in the summer. We will see them probably in the month of May around the bird feeder looking for flowers. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a summer bird. We don't see them here in the winter. Isn't it cute? Hmm. Hey, I got a good one. I got a good one. What is green and pecks on trees? Uh, Woody the wood pickle? <laughs> uh, 
not that funny. <laughs> Woody the woodpecker.